Okay, welcome back to Kogusama Love is War. Anime Review, episode number four. This is discussing episodes 13 to 18. And you're probably thinking, wait, didn't you also do six, probably the first six episodes of the previous season with episode one? Yes, I did. The thing with season one was, it was never dubbed. Heck, even one of my commenters agree it was dumb the fact that, that the first season was never dubbed, but yet the second season is dubbed. As a matter of fact, the most recent episode came out, the dub was was actually the pencil episode of the season I'm working on right now. Now, who does the voiceover work for the season? Oh boy. Now, the first character obviously seen in the series, who you get a chance to hear their voice, is I Higgsgira, I think it's how you pronounce her name. Mm-hmm. She's voiced by YouTuber Amanda Lee. Yep. Yeah, she is. I Hagasa. Yeah, she's voiced by Amanda Lee. I mean, some people know who Amanda Lee is. I mean, she's got 1.7 million subscribers to YouTube channel. I mean, what's she doing on YouTube channel? She sings English covers for anime songs. I've listened to a lot of that. I've listened to, like, the one she's done for it, I've listened to is, like, the opening theme songs for all three seasons of Overlord. The the one song for the one season of Saga Time Evil. She she also done some work for she also did the original song for Rashira Kenshin. That was surprising the fact she did the English cover for that one. That was really good. She did a couple covers for Gintama. Let's see. She also has one of the song for Ruby. Let's see. There's also <clears throat> excuse me. She also did the cover for the song for this season. I haven't listened to her that one yet, but I did listen to how he's here, but. Yeah. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, she did a couple of the songs for Black Clover. She did the songs basically Black Catcher and Black Rover, which are the two of the most recent ones. Not the current one. I think Black Rover was the previous song they used for the series. Now it's some other songs. I think it's called Stories, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you get a chance to hear her music, she's really good. And she's also a really good voice actress too. And this is only the seventh series I've heard of it. Yeah, seventh. Now, who voices the lead characters? We have the lead character, Kogia, voiced by Alexis Tempton. I've heard her in several different anime. Well, we have the president of the student council, Maoki, voiced by Aaron Desmark. I looked up basically how many series I've heard this guy in. Watch. Actually, the last series I heard of in Korea. It's all Dr. Stone. He's voiced the main character, Dr. Stone. Chikawa is voiced by Jed Saxton. Yep, Jed Saxton. This is the 24th series I heard of in. And the last series I heard of in was Monster Masumi. Yep, the last one I heard of in Monster Masumi. Like, Really? Miles Masumi? Yeah, she's in that one. I think she's... Happy. The Harp. Happy the Harpy from Miles Masumi. The Treasurer is voiced by the awesome Austin, a guy who I actually have met. Yeah, I've, I've actually met this voice actor in person. Yeah, you is, is the guy who voiced by Austin. Now, Austin, for this, this character here, this makes the 12th character that I've actually heard. Yeah, I haven't heard that in any series. Yeah, the last one was before this one was Seraph the End. Yeah, that was the last known series I heard in. Yep. And that one, he did not voice the main character of the series. No, he was voicing somebody else. Mm hmm. Yep. Somebody else. Now, Miko, the one who's a friend of, let's see, she makes it in these episodes. She's voiced by Madeline Morris. I'm not that familiar with her. Let's see. You have Nagasa, who's voiced by Brandon Perry. Does a really good job voicing the character. Her boyfriend is voiced by Brandon McKee. They appear, I mean, 
she appears in a few episodes. The boy premieres for one, which he comes back, he basically becomes a bad boy. Uh huh. Yep. The sister, the, the the president's sister, is is voiced by Heather Walker, another voice actress I'm not familiar with. Nope. Yeah. Now a lot of the stuff happened this one like the last the first the last half of these episodes uh, it basically is the student council election. Yep. The student council election. That's what happens in a lot of these episodes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> of course, also the first half deals with the whole thing of the fact that the president's birthday had just come about, and only the secretary apparently didn't know the day before that it was his birthday. I mean, the treasurer knew, and of course, Kogan knew, but the secretary was left out, but she's like, what? Why am I the only one to know about this? The treasurer knew about it because he did it as repaying a favor for him. Rail him out on the student council. Kogan basically figured it out, and of course, the president reveals, oh yeah, Kogan figured it out a year ago about my birthday. She found out the student handbook. So she's always known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's also stuff involving coffee in here because the president basically drinks regular coffee and apparently switches decaf and falls asleep, which that's weird. I have never seen anybody this happen before. Now, I serve regular decaf coffee when I might work at McDonald's. And what usually is number one seller when it comes to coffee? Regular coffee. I basically have to pour a lot of coffee into cups. Like, I would say it lasts from the moment I get on the clock up until about noon. There's occasionally some people will basically still ask for coffee at the 12 o'clock, but yeah, there's a lot of people asking for coffee as soon as they get there. Like, one morning basically where, like, for about two hours, the most popular thing people bought was coffee. Hot coffee. Why? Because it was cold outside. That's why. Mm hmm Yep. Next episode basically is about a shopping trip with Kogyo going with the president's little sister, which this was so this is kind of a fun episode. I mean, she's there not only with the sister, but also Fujawa, the secretary, and the Fujawa's sisters. And well, she wants to hang out with her sister, basically. At one point, she actually calls her little sis, because she's got a thing for her older br for her brother. <laughs> Which I'm like, that is so adorable, the fact that she would do that. Despite the fact that, well, he can't exactly, she can't exactly call her that yet, because she's not married to her brother, so she can't exactly call her that. It's a fun little standalone episode, also deal with the fact that his, that his birthday's coming up. Which that's basically dealt with in, like, the following episode. And then, like, started episode 3 up until, like, well, basically 15 up until, like, 18. It's basically dealing with the upcoming student election. Basically, the student council, which is only comprised of four people. The president, the VP, the secretary, treasurer. I'm like, really? That's a that's a very small student council. What, what about the regular members? Excuse me. Apparently, they didn't have any. So, they have competition from... Well, basically, so Shogunate was not considered going until Kage basically asked asked him, "Hey, can you run again?" He's like, "Sure, why not?" And he ran. He didn't run unopposed, mind you. Oh no, he actually won. He actually beat the opponent, basically, which they got into a debate, which was actually really good for her because she was so nervous. She basically would, would have lost by a landslide, but it was pretty close from what I heard. But what the way they describe it in. in Episode 18. What one of the things they debated upon was like basically about the reputation of the school, the fact that oh yeah things will improve if all the guys shave their heads. <laughs> Even I agree that's an absolute stupid idea. But the president wins now. Even though that she lost, she she and her best friend basically are offered positions to the council. Now she declines because she ran because she felt like it. But in the case of her best friend. She joined. She basically 
Like she she's given the offer, she says, give me time to think about it. And says, okay, you have till tomorrow because that's when our next student council meeting is. Which is actually a pretty smart idea. I mean, yeah, she lost fair and square, and she probably really wanted to be in the student council. But offering her place on his student council, that's a pretty smart move. This basically, of course, they say that this was the one he was running for the first season, and first part of this season was the 67th student council. This is probably the 68th because they actually added one person to the group to be the public relations person. Mm -hmm. But these were a fun set of episodes. And in case you're curious, though, what chapter song is this? Yeah. Now, episodes 13 and 18. We covered, they covered episodes, chapters 30, 40, 51 to 54, 56 to, looks like about 61, yeah, 61, 64 to 69. Yep, that's what pretty much was covered. Yeah, I don't, I kept going with 62 covered. I think they covered. They must have skipped over six going up, but yeah, they covered like a good, like good chunk of chapters. I mean, forty nine, forty six, forty nine were actually skipped over for some reason. Yeah, unknown why. But the next time I skip over chapters, actually seventy four, seventy five, seventy seven. Yeah, I mean, if I were the, the studio who made the series A One Pictures, I would pretty much have these over. You could have these, these chapters cover in the first like handful of episodes, or you could do like a, a mini series between this season and the next one just to cover that, and then have the next season cover basically where this season is going to leave off. Which by the way, the episode never released up yet. No, it hasn't. It's still sub. It's um probably it's probably gonna come out maybe next week. It's possible. But these were a pretty good set of episodes and just pure fun. Mm hmm. I don't think there's any games in this one, no, because generally put, they usually have some kind of game going on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's also a confession, basically. They want to have basically Kogia and the president basically confess each other. That doesn't happen. Let's see. Yeah, not much else to say about these episodes. They're good. Definitely looking forward to discussing the next three. Okay, so if that's it for you, I have several videos coming today. Next one's going to be Baruto. I'm going to watch that next and do my review. And, of course, I'm going to blow it later. Then I'm going to do Black Clover. And then I'm going to blow three, basically a string of three, uh, three pack and upload those three. And then move on to the other ones. Mm -hmm. Though with Black Clover, will be pretty much update with everything that's come out since last weekend. Mm-hmm. So basically, we'll be watching Baruto next. And you'll see my view of that soon, okay? See you next video. Bye.